What's up folks, Mark with Launchpad B here, coming in with a ClipChamp.com tutorial. Our video today comes in from one of our viewers who is asking, and I think the guy's name is Shavel or Chavel. Not really sure on the pronunciation, but he's basically asking, uh, and he's actually posted on two different videos here. He's basically asking, I still don't know how to make subtitles. All of them are just titles and weird pop-ups that aren't just plain text. Well, Shavel, Chavel, you're in luck. This video, very quickly, we'll show you how to make subtitles. Now, there's a couple of steps here. Uh, we can put the text in. That's the easy part. The challenging part is making the text legible on a background. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and go to the text option now on the left hand side here. And we're going to scroll all the way to the very bottom here. Well, not necessarily to the bottom, but let's go ahead and start down here because I saw it the other day and it's going to be right there. You see where it says subtitle? That's what we want. Let's go ahead and drop it onto the timeline. Uh, and let's go ahead now and see what I'm saying. And boom, we are now officially recording. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna type it in here. So we're gonna go to the top where it says text and we're gonna type in what we are. And boom, we are currently recording. There we go. You know, my English teacher always said don't start a sentence with the word and. We're doing it anyways. Okay, let's take a look. And boom. We are now officially recording. I didn't even type the right thing. I'm sorry, man. Okay, so now we're gonna continue on. So instead of having to drag and drop it over and over again, you see up here at the top, we're gonna select the clip and you see where it says duplicate. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Uh, and then you would proceed and we would now type in our next sentence. And then you would basically continue to go through and just do that. So here's how it would look between transitions. Right, going into this. Okay, so, so, and that's how you would do a subtitle. You could do multiple lines if you wanted. Like I, I say a lot, I tend to talk really fast. So if I go into text, I can go here and put uh, next sentence down here. There we go. Here, not her. All right, and there we go. So now we're, we're basically doing two sentences. So anyways, that's how you're doing the subtitles. Now, the challenge with subtitles though, like this, um, you do have the ability to move them around. You have the ability to change the colors if you want, but uh, historically it's always kind of challenging to get a subtitle, especially if you got like a bright colored area and you're trying to place it on there. So the next thing you want to do potentially uh, is place something behind it so that it makes it a little bit more legible. Now, ClipChamp for some reason doesn't have the option to insert shapes. Uh, in here. I can insert a full like screen like black something but it won't let me adjust the size. So there is a workaround and what I'm going to do is I basically go into PowerPoint. I know I always use it and I'm going to create a transparent block. So if you're interested in doing that, here's how you do it. We're going to go ahead and launch PowerPoint and I'm going to go ahead and draw a shape. So we're going to insert, I'm going to select a, a block shape here uh, and we want it to be kind of a rectangular shape. Okay. Uh, we're going to make it black. We're going to remove the outline. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make it transparent. So the way that you do that in PowerPoint is we're gonna go under shape fill. You can pick gradient or texture, it doesn't matter. You go to the very bottom where it says more gradients. Uh, and right here where it says transparency, we are gonna make it transparent. Just like this, okay? About 45%, let's do 45 rather than money. Here we go, 45%. All right, now you're gonna right click on that and we're gonna save it as a picture and we're gonna save it to the desktop and we are gonna call it block, which I've already created one, okay? Then you're gonna go ahead and save that. Uh, we no longer need uh, PowerPoint. We can go ahead and close that out. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna import our shape. So on the top left here, we're gonna select uh, add media. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and browse the files and we're gonna find our block, which is right here. And there it is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it into the timeline. There we go. And I actually want it to go beneath my subtitle. So I'm just gonna drag it underneath uh, and then we're just gonna place it there. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Now since ClipChamp is kind of made a little bit easier, we basically need to highlight the clip, just basically tap on it and we can drag it where we want it. Uh, now you can make it, you can size it if you wanted for each individual sentence that you're making. You could just make it one general size if you wanted to. You kind of have some flexibility with that. Uh, when you let it go, your text will now be on top of it. So you can kind of choose how you want to do that if you even need to do it. Block, now I do advise, if, if this was my video, I would probably just go a, lit, a little bit bigger with it. Maybe I'd just drag it off screen a little bit like this. And I could even go into the top here where it says transform and I can make it even more transparent if I wanted to, okay? Uh, that way, when you are working on your subtitles, they are now visible. So anyways, uh, Chabel, I hope I'm saying it right. 
I hope this video has been helpful to you uh, and, and to anybody else out there who was not sure on how to make subtitles. Now, I do ask that you support my channel. As of right now, it looks like only about 6% of my viewers are actually subscribers. So if you are finding these helpful, it would benefit me greatly if you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if the video is beneficial to you, go ahead and give me a like. Um, also, I always take requests. So if you're not sure how to do something or if you want to find a workaround on ClipChamp, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.